Hey there, in this video I'm going to be going over how you get armor on Dragonwalk Apollo. So to start, I want to go over an important distinction. If you head over to Warp Mall, there is armor, quote unquote, here. But what this actually is, is simply clothing. I'll go ahead and grab the Yamcha set here. As you can see, Android Saga clothing piece. So patroller quests are sagas of quests which are basically the alternate reality for the main line sagas so they come out just usually with every super update so we have say in namek and android at the moment and we just add for clothing we just add random characters that we feel like deserve some sets so as you can see here you can take off this set this is by the way if you're not aware that you can wear armor cosmetically so right here i am putting these set this set over my other set so that's nice and I'm wearing the Yamcha set. Obviously, I have a little bodysuit on right here, but basically, you're overriding the visual of what you have on below that. And this, the stats in here, is equipped in the cosmetic slot. All stat benefits from this piece are disabled. Although this one, armor, gives you benefits. So I'm going to go over how to get armor. So the most basic way is actually let's head to Warp Armor Market. So here we are, the peddler. He just moves you around. Um, so we have the Saiyan Saga sets right here, Namek, Android, and then movie set one, movie pack one and two. And over here we have GT, the latest release of armor. So how do I get mm, Vegeta set, right? Well, all of e each saga has its own currency. This is the Saiyan Saga armor currency. So basically, um, this is common, this is uncommon down here. So to get that, I have to go farm patroller quests. So here we are, I'm at the Warp Patrol quest, so I'm gonna go ahead and head to PQ106. So, go ahead and accept this quest, boom boom, run over here, get him spawn. I'm gonna one-shot him, because I'm in God form, a little bit of overkill, but here we are. Boom, you can see, I only got two common coins from them, but they're a pretty good farm, because there's two of them. So that's how you get those coins. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use them. All right, here we are, I'm back at the trader. So I got me 32 uncommon coins. So what I'm going to do is buy the uncommon Vegeta set here for the Saiyan Saga. So we have that. And now how are we going to, what does all this mean? There's a lot going on here. I'm going to start off simply top to bottom. Vegeta chest is simply the name of the set or the name of the piece. Um, tier one means nothing at the moment. However, it will be something implemented in the future. Gear score, same thing as tier. Um, it's just a cool number. Uh, it is shown in the menu depending on what you're wearing. But moving on, we have all those stats. Melee damage, defense, key power, and key defense. What does that mean? It's these right here, output stats. Melee damage, defense, key defense, and key power right here. So with that in mind, upgrading these, as the description right there says, each enhance into a stat provides a 0.2 increase and 0.5 uh, gear score that's again gear score doesn't matter but so enhancements remaining 12 what is that well enhances are these right here i'm just gonna give myself four of those so boom armor enhancement gem you can go ahead and run slash enhance as a command in chat you can run enhance help it will show you what options you have you check stats it will tell you if that piece has stats obviously if you run it on something random it just this can't be enhanced so it's important that you hold the item so i'm gonna do melee damage and i'm gonna run it just a single time boom 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 perfect it failed so you guys could see that so i only got three up now so i'm sitting there with melee damage seven plus three so my effective bonus is actually 2.0 so we're wearing this right here i should only have 2.0 melee damage so 255 take that off now we only have 251 so boom if i go ahead and put all of this on what's going to happen is i'm going to get that full set bonus for saiyan pride which is going to give me 4% less strength, as you can see here, 4% more defense, 6% more will, but I'm not playing as a key build, and negative 2% less energy, which is key defense over here. So this affects your base stats, so it's something to keep in mind how the full set bonus of an armor works. Usually, the actual base stats you see tie in more or less to the, um, to the full set bonus, but sometimes the individual pieces you know might not or sometimes you might not want to build because this is intended to be a key build kind of right it's, it's a kind of hybrid key build with some defense right there so building your armor however you want it's totally up to you um 
as you can see we have w real quick rune slot i skipped over that that means nothing right now it's another thing that is not implemented but it's just there so finishing off this list we went over the full set bonus now i'm going to talk about owner owner zero on what does that mean it means the armor is soul bound just like tp the difference here it's not bound to your character slot so if i play on us2 and i get every armor set on us2 and i don't want to regrind all of that what i can do is i can simply switch to my uh, my third slot here and i'm still wearing this armor and it is in fact well sorry my armor is off this is also something you can do in this menu so you might want to make sure this is on it's pretty much just there so you can wear armor cosmetically obviously cosmetic armor exists but you get the idea uh, we can now see it actually affecting right here boom so that's pretty neat uh, next let me go ahead and come back to my character slot too one thing that i breezed over or didn't even talk about was how to get enhanced gems well it's a few ways first you can uh, get your armor and simply break it down. Come over to the blacksmith. Sorry about that. I don't have armor on. So <laughs> keep interacting. But armor piece breakdown failed. I didn't get any gems from this guy. But sometimes you get gems from him. Pretty low chances. But you can get the gems back. Or you can head over here to the warp. Oh, I'm a goofball. It's Zenny. Sorry about that. So you can come over here. And you can buy it for 3,000 Zenny per gem. Or each time you do a patroller quest for the first time, you'll actually get a gem. For the first time reward for the patroller quest so that's a pretty decent way to get a few of them but the more consistent way is through the zenny shop so i hope that helps we're gonna go ahead and go to movie quest we're gonna talk about a couple things so i'm gonna type slash sheet we're gonna open up the public sheet with all the info um here um obviously i have this a little bit more minimized than you might but armor at the bottom here with the little shields so you're gonna find that you're gonna come here i will full screen this to make it easier to read um this has all the info of every armor set so if you want to get into specifics of how the how good these armor sets are and you want to choose the best for you it's good to look at this right uh armor info we already talked about how pq drops on every quest but movie quests also drop their gear coins on every quest that's important to know gt coins however do only drop on the last seven of each gt saga Last seven quests of each GT saga. So this is a lot more GT quests. Um, movie pack one, two, and then PQ one, two, and three, and GT all have different coins. So that's important to know. Um, also, the rarity of armor at the bottom there. Uh, the rarity pretty much only affects how how many enhances you have at this time. I think it also affects like the starting stats, but it's pretty minor. Uh, just, you know i would recommend going for uncommon on your best set we don't have anything above that right now but we will in the future so moving on with that um we're gonna go ahead and do just kill a movie quest real quick beat up a uh, cooler fifth form here we'll go ahead and get us some um some, some movie for quest coins boom you can th see we got three common and i'll just go ahead and run we're gonna do some gt quests just to demonstrate uh, so last seven of each, I'll just go ahead and do this one right here. Hopefully it's not a one time. It's not. I'm going to go ahead and go into a form. Just these enemies are a little bit stronger. Oh, look at this. Oh gosh. I said a little bit stronger. I was lying my butt off, huh? Go super saiyan god here. Where's my aura? The, the aura looks too nice. I'll go ahead and skip over some of this. First time I fought an enemy in a couple uh, couple months, probably since the podcast. Maybe, anyway, <laughs> here we are. We got one uncommon coin that is insanely unlucky for me. But same process here. You might want to farm higher quests for the GT um, armor. But yeah, there you go. That's how you get armor. If you guys have any suggestions for other how-to videos, please do let me know. Uh, enjoy making these how-to videos for you guys. We've made one for how to get armor and how to switch character slots um so thank you for watching if you have any suggestions let me know down in the comments i hope this helped you out i uh, hope you're enjoying the server more than anything yeah see you guys around